that is, that's a great effort. <laughs> right, guys, so we've set up a little mini Tiger Woods chipping challenge. So one of the most famous golf shots in the history of the game. Ever. 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 Is at the Masters when Tiger missed the green by a million miles on the par 3 16th, which everyone forgets about. And he had to play a shot using the slope of the green to navigate the ball around. The Nike tick stayed on the edge of the cup and then just went, Lop. Lop. Famous, lop, lop, lop. famous shot. He obviously continued to win the Masters that year. Was that 2000 and... We had this debate the other day. Yeah. It was like 2001 or it was something. so it was long ago now. So long, long ago, long ago now. If you look at the clip, it looks really long ago as well. Mm. So we have... We have mocked up that shot. I've got to be honest, I'm pretty sure that people actually thought we were at Augusta before you just said that. Oh, that's so. true. We've got, <laughs> we've got the fastest green in Manchester. We've got the most severe slope, apart from the ski slope. We've got the <laughs> most severe slope in Manchester behind the hole. And we're going to do a little tip about how to chip onto a green that's either got a big slope to play with or any kind of undulation you've got to navigate anyway. Okay. Pete's going to be my trusty sidekick on this. He's my, my uh, glamorous assistant. Okay. So, so it's pressure over the right? shot we've got to play here has got to go up onto this hill. Got the GoPro here, running down and towards the hole. That last shot that you just played was pretty pretty impressive. Yeah. Might be cut to replay that one. Quite yeah, that's all we might play. <laughs> what you've got to do on a shot like this is you've got to read it as if it's a putt. So read it from behind the hole first. Make sure that you know and can navigate the, the, the slope of that hill. And then Pete was saying before as well, you'd measure it from here. Absolutely, yeah. So, so you've got to- behind, trying to navigate how it would slope him from this side yeah. as well. So you've got, to you've got to measure kind of where it's going to go in this direction, but you've also got to navigate and measure how it's going to roll once it stops bouncing and once it actually starts rolling. Obviously this chip is a little bit extreme, but it still counts the same as any other chip as well. So from that, once you know where the ball wants to be rolling, it's important that you get that ball on the floor very quickly. So if you know that ball is going to be rolling at certain spot parts of your chipping process in your mind, you've got to get that ball rolling quickly. So choose a club that's going to help you with that. We have to use a lofty club here because we have to land it up onto the slope before it rolls back down. But on a lot of instances, if you see a, a, a chip and you know it's going to be right to left, get that ball on the floor as quick as you can so the ball can navigate that slope really well. I mean, I could get it on the floor as quick as possible here and use the lip. The yeah, the, <laughs> use this. So we're going to aim to go to the top of the hill, probably one bounce just short of the slope, on top of the hill, navigate it down. We're going to trust the shot we're gonna... and execute it perfectly, please, Peter. Bounce. Oh, that hurts. That lip is killer. That'll come in good. Let's have another go. So you pitched it perfectly, getting a little bit more of a bigger bounce. Yep, 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 yep. Great shot. Oh! Oh! oh. So I'd have taken that off. Have another go. Have I got permission to do the Tiger Fist Pump around the green if it goes Absolutely. in? Absolutely. Okay. So one bounce up on top. Go, Pro. Oh, this is oh, good. Oh, he's held it on very well. This is good. Nice oh. shot. So we're using the slope, the contours of the greens to manage to navigate that ball as close to the hole as possible. There's obviously instances where you can go straight for the hole, but there's other times where you've got to be able to use the slopes to navigate it round. Don't take slopes on the putting green for granted when you're chipping onto it. Take that into as much consideration as you would do when you're putting. So make sure you're looking at way, the way that the, the actual hole slopes and the way it navigates to position yourself into the greatest position to get that ball in the hole. We're going to challenge now, aren't we? We're, we're going to try. That's quite impressive, that. I, I'm going to certainly try. So we're going to jump over to Pete's channel and do the challenge. Please do subscribe while you're here if you're new to the channel. Comment down below, let us know what you think about the little advice there about a ridiculous chip that Tiger played, unbelievable at the Masters. Hopefully you're enjoying the tips that we're doing for the series of the Masters. If you've not seen the other ones, go and check those out. And have you ever had a ridiculous hole in? Have you ever had a ridiculous chip in? Tell us about it. Comment down below, we'd love to hear your stories. We're gonna jump onto Pete's channel and do the challenge. Let's give it a go, shall we? We'll see you soon.